Good morning. It's Monday the 14th of December and uh, it's Lorna Wagner here from Maritime UK and I'm able to give you an update on what the Careers and Outreach programme's been up to in the last week and what we're doing this week. So last week I, I spoke about the, um, the Institute of Technology bid for the Solon and there was quite a lot of work around that last week. Today is submission day for the bid so really very exciting. Um, we had a careers task force network meeting where we really summarised the work of the programme in the last eight months since I started with Maritime UK, talked about the things that had gone well and talked about the raised awareness and kind of agreed our priorities for, for next year. I'll come back to that later. Um, two different meetings with two different careers hubs in um, careers hubs leaders in Yorkshire last week. Um, it's extraordinary how much activity is going on up there and how proactive those teams are and I'm really enjoying working with them. Um, and it's great that remotely you can do that from where I live in Hampshire without um, travelling for four hours. I think what's coming out of those conversations is the blueprint of an offer that we can then take to LEPs elsewhere in the country and also into Careers Wales and also into developing the young workforce in Scotland. So I'm really glad about that. Terrific meeting with the Careers Colleges Trust one afternoon last week talking about how the Maritime UK uh, careers and Outreach Programme can be supporting the seven colleges have all signed up for to offer a logistics pathway. Six are starting in September 21, one the year later, um, but they need a lot of help from us in terms of understanding about port logistics. So very much looking for partner organisations to step forward and contact me so that we can put something together for those colleges. So if, if that interests you, please, you know how to get in touch with me. Um, this week, a really important meeting this afternoon, looking at the PR and communications plan for the careers programme for next year. And I'm really quite excited about some of the ideas that we've got in place for that. Uh, more local enterprise partnership, more LEP work this week. Uh, a good meeting coming up later on the week looking at virtual work experience, which I know is a priority and an area of some concern for careers leaders and careers advisors up and down the country. So hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have a better idea of the sorts of things that might be available in the Solon and then we'd be able to advise accordingly. Um, the Careers Task Force Networking Group, I took to them my list of priorities for the first term really of 2021. So I thought it'd be good to share those with you. Um, a review and a refresh of the careers pages of the website, continued recruitment for our ambassadors network. So if you are an industry expert out there, you, you might shy away from the word expert, but you are the expert in your own career pathway. And I am particularly looking to recruit shore based maritime professionals. So you know how to get in touch with me, lwagner at maritimeuk.org. Um, or LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever. But if you would like to talk to me about the Ambassadors Programme, we are running another welcome meeting in January, uh, which we'd like to invite you to come along to to find out more about it. There'll be details in the comments underneath this video for you to click on the link. Uh, continuing to build the Careers Professionals Network, because that is key. That's the way that I communicate directly with careers professionals. They can be leaders, advisors, anyone that provides information and guidance, Job Centre Plus workers. We've even got someone from a Citizens Advice Bureau. So teachers, tutors, if you're interested in that sort of thing, again, the links will be in the comments underneath this video. And then if you are in Maritime and you would like to come and work with us and to influence the work of the programme from the inside, come and talk to me about the working groups. Really happy to talk to anybody about um, coming and working with me and helping me to make sure that what we're offering is of use to the people out there that are going to be using them. And that's it for this week. Uh, have a happy and healthy week and I'll talk to you next Monday. Bye.